In this video, we provide the solution to question number nine for practice exam number four for math 1220. We're given a sequence a sub n is equal to one over n times the natural log of n. We're also given a function f of x, which is equal to one over x times the natural log of x. Notice here that f of x is the continuous extension of the sequence a sub n there. So it's the same formula, it's just one is a discrete sequence, one is a continuous function. And so we need to determine the convergence of the series where n equals 2, the sum, n equals 2 to infinity of that sequence a n, that is 1 over n times the natural log of n there. We have to determine whether it's convergent or divergent, and we're going to use the integral test here, for which, of course, we'd be very interested in what happens to the integral of that function. And so the first thing we want to do is evaluate the improper integral uh, the integral from 2 to infinity of f of x dx here because the convergence of this thing will agree with the convergence of that. So we're going we're gonna to do that calculation. So the integral from 2 to infinity of 1 over x times the natural log of x dx. Um, a u substitution would be very appropriate here. If you take u to be the natural log of x, then du is equal to 1 over x dx. And so applying that substitution, um, you're going to get a du on top and then a u in the denominator. I also want to change the bounds uh, because when x is 2, you're going to get the natural log of 2. That's not so bad. When x goes towards infinity, uh, you're going to get u is also approaching infinity like so. Uh, and so then continuing on here, you're going to take the antiderivative of 1 over u, which is the natural log of the absolute value of u, and you're going to evaluate this as you go from the natural log of 2 to infinity here. Um, if I plug in the natural log of 2, there's no problem there. You're just going to get the log log 2. Um, the, the problem is when you plug in infinity here, of course, you're going to take the natural log of infinity, uh, for which the natural log of infinity is itself infinite. And so this thing is going to become infinity minus a number but that number is peanuts compared to infinity. This thing is going to be infinite. So we just calculated that the integral is actually infinite. So put your final answer here on the line. And by the integral test, the convergence of this integral is the same as the convergence of this series. The improper integral is divergent because it became infinity. So the series is likewise divergent by the integral test.